Welcome back trainers and in this video we're going to be taking a look at Steelix as well as Galarian Zapdos and Ninetales Shadow. Let's have a little fun here. You already know once I got Zapdos it was over and I was going to keep on using it. So we're going to have a little bit more fun here. Still going with Ancient Power as well as Brave Bird and then of course Counter. You always want to go with Counter here. I think that's the only quick move it actually does have anyways. So <laughs> you have no choice in that regard. All right, so we also have Steelix with Dragon Tail, Psychic Fangs, and Earthquake. And then the Nine Tails is going to have Powdered Snow, Wither Ball, and Dazzling Gleam. And it works out amazing. Speaking of it, we do have this going up against Charizard, which is still a fine matchup because it is going to be part flying. And, well, Shadow Nine Tails getting stabbed from that Wither Ball is doing a whole heck of a lot of damage here. All right, now, out of all the three birds, as far as usability and PvP, do believe it's going to be Zapdos number one, then Moltres, and then lastly is going to be Articuno, unfortunately, as far as the Galarian forms are concerned. When it comes down to the Kanto form for Zapdos, or should I say Articuno, it is actually going to be pretty good for the Ultra League and the Great League. All right, let's see what we have here. The only part about it right now with the Galarian form is the fact that it's psychic and it doesn't really have anything to cover steel. If it had a little something, it would be a little better. Maybe it gets a move update in the future. All right, we have the Steelix up against Walrein, hitting me with an Icicle Spear. And we're getting to the Earthquake here. This should be enough to take out the Walrein. And we're taking the win almost, Charizard. And now we take the win after a couple of Dragon Tails. All right, let's keep it moving here. What are we going to see? Leading with uh, Zapdos, I think the majority of the time. Walrein, so they're super effective to me, and I'm super effective to them. So Galarian Zapdos is going to be fighting and flying type here. I'm going to shield up the first Icicle Spear. I'm not going to go for the... You know, I could have maybe went for the Brave Bird, but they shield up Ancient Power anyway, so whatever. Now what we're going to do is go ahead and catch an Icicle Spear. Oh yeah, that was a clean catch, and they're going to be bringing in Charizard. Sounds good to me, because we are still going to be doing quite a bit of damage, and if I do recall this correctly here, we let all this go, and they keep on trying to bait me with Dragon Claw here. And, oh yeah, there's that first bait, and we're going for another Icicle Spear, or should I say <laughs> Weather Ball. Get it ain't confused with Wall Rain there. Getting their last shield, and I'm going to let this go again. Hit me with Blast Burn, go for it. Another Dragon Claw, and we get to the Weather Ball. This, is this going to be another Dragon Claw here? It is, of course it is. They've used up all that energy, and we're getting to the Weather Ball, which is going to be able to KO the Charizard, calling every single stinking one of those, immediately swapping into the Steelix because we don't want them to farm down their our Ninetales there. That would have been a decent amount of energy. They're shieldless, bringing in the Steelix, and it looks like I was trying to go for the farm down, and I'm still going to go for it, holding on to my last shield, and they have, what was that, the final Pokemon that they bring in here? We're going for Psychic Fangs. It is going to be a Giratina. Okay, we could still pull this off. This is fine. I guess I could have went for Earthquake, but that works fine too. This is their last Pokemon, and they're shieldless. So what we're going to go ahead and do is bring in the Galarian Zapdos on this two, two defense down Gal Galarian Giratina. Giratina and go for Brave Bird and take the win. There you go. Looking good. All right, next battle met with a Drapion Shadow. We're going to be doing a decent amount of damage with that counter. And they're going to be retreating with a decent amount of energy as well. Bringing in their Swampert. I'm going to go straight for the Brave Bird here because why not? Bringing in the Ninetales here. And we're going to let this Hydro Cannon go. That's no problem. And obviously farm them down here. Have a good amount of energy ready to throw. Two to two shields. Let's see what's going to happen here. Bringing back that Drapion. Of course they are now. We're going to go ahead and let this go. Calling an Aqua Tail. And we go for a Dazzling Gleam. If we land this, this is going to do a lot of damage. But of course they're going to be shielding it up. Now that's a little sucky for me. I could have got off at least three of those Weather Balls there. Uh, as opposed to just one Dazzling Gleam. Bringing in our Steelix. And they're going to be swapping into their Trevenant. And this is looking to be pretty good. Letting that Shadow Ball go because... Well, Steelix is just an absolute tank. And this is not even the IV product that you want. This is a 100% IV. You're going to want lower attack, which is going to make it a lot more bulkier when it comes down to it being in the Ultra League and being able to take hits. As you can see here, it's still taking hits like a champion, even at 100%. All right, bringing in Zapdos to farm them down. Still holding on to two shields. And at this point, we're going to... I it was putting a lot of stock onto the Zapdos here. So we're going to try to counter them down. And uh, I go for this Ancient Power only because I could potentially get the boost. Otherwise, when you're in this position, you want to just simply quick move down. 
that is the only way to pull this one off here. So we snuck one through. We need one more. And we have no more shields. That crunch is doing a lot. And we take the win with one, one HP. All right. Next battle. What are we going to see? Another Drapion. Just a coincidence. This was back to back. Okay. This was back to back. Uh, yeah. Just a coincidence. I will see another Drapion here. And this is fine. You know, this is good for me. Technically, uh, I'll take it. Right. It's no problem gonna go ahead and go for the ancient power here and we're gonna be getting a shield out of them sounds good to me i'm swapping unfortunately i mean it could have been a catch did we catch a sludge bomb oh hell yeah we freaking did on our steel and ground type and they're gonna be swapping into their excavalier excavalier uh excadrill and uh drill running me i'm gonna go for the earthquake i'm surprised i was actually able to get there before they got to another one and they're letting it go not wanting to use both shields bringing in trevin in and we're gonna we're gonna go for the psychic things before they do take us out here lower their defense here right zapdos looking healthy but that trevin it is loaded it up on energy big time so they got a drapion okay so i think all we really need to do is get them low enough but they're going to be swapping after going for that sounds good so i immediately bring in my zapdos here going for the ancient power they let it go we get the boost we get the boost on the Zapdos with Ancient Power. They back out with their Trevenant, and we take that win. Let's keep it moving here. What are we going to see with that Zapdos in the lead? We're met with a Wall Rain. Kind of a double-edged sword here because they're super effective to us as well. So we're going to have to try to play that catch game here and catch with the Ninetales. We did it before. Can we do it again? Let's see what happens here. Shielding up that Icicle Spear, of course. We do not want to take that damage right now. Going for an Ancient Power, and they're going to be shielding it up. Got to get ready for a catch. Beautiful. We did it again right on time right on time this is literally the not the next battle but uh it was the so the the one wall rain that we went up against this was the next one and i did that swap perfectly again and we got another charizard what do you know gonna go ahead and keep on spamming these weather walls here and we've gotten the last shield already and i think i keep calling them again on this too do we have a similar situation no they they went for blast burn they're not playing any games here they said get your stupid nine tails the hell out of here so i bring in the steelix and i'm thinking there's no way that that's a blast burn already it is a blast burn okay never mind i knew what it was all right we're now there's no way this is a blast burn this has to be Oh my freaking goodness, it's a blast burner. You s oh my sh wow. Venusaur, okay. So we go for psychic fangs. This is not looking good. No, uh, Zapdos, not, not, not the healthiest. It's in the yellow, so we're not looking great here. Gonna keep on going. They swap. I swap into my Zapdos. I get to the ancient power right as they get to their charge move. This will be enough to KO. Now we should be able to pull this off. This Venusaur is at about a frenzy plant and a quarter or something like that but uh doesn't really matter we're going to be able to go for the psychic fangs and take them out and take the win there did not think i was going to be able to pull that one off all right next battle we're going to be seeing an auroras okay rock and ice which is going to be very weak to fighting so our counter is doing a whole hell of a lot of damage so let's have a little fun here what's going to happen all right let's keep it going they're staying here we're shielding them up we're looking pretty good all right, they're going to be shield. Oh, they swapped into their Trevenant. We're getting a shield out of them. So we went for that intentionally, knowing that we were going to probably go for a Brave Bird, which would have one-shotted. We get a shield. Bring it in the Ninetales here. Okay, sounds good. Going for another Weather Ball and taking out their Trevenant. We're still holding on to one shield. Same with them. Bring it in their Auroras. This is just going to do... Yeah, it's going to do a decent amount of damage. You'll see it. Yeah, it would have been enough to KO pretty much. And they're farming. Oh my goodness, they farmed the hell out of us all the way down. Bring it in Steelix to kind of just absorb whatever they try to throw at us here. Weather Ball, sounds good. And they have a Verizion, which is going to, I would, you know, um, Glarian Zapdos does wall it pretty good unless they do have Stone Edge. But even the Sacred Swords and Leaf Blades are going to be doing a, a decent amount of damage eventually to take us out. Uh, but it is a good matchup. All right, this person gets all the respect in the world as they are using Shadow Star Raptor, the Spice Sovereign, for real, over here. Uh, all right, it's just the game is so pressured on my account that I can't even use those things. It's just, oh, you want to use a Shadow Star Raptor? Okay, a whole rock team. It's like, what the freaking hell? Whole electric team. Like, what the hell is going on here with this shit? Anyways, what's going on here with this one here? They swapped, okay. They do have energy on that Star Raptor, so we have to keep that in mind. All right, so we're up against another Trevenant. To, they've used a shield, and we've got uh, two left. Great, bringing in a Cresselia. Now, I'm going to go ahead and throw this before they do get to a charge move. Just, you know, get this damage off here. Maybe get off another one, but they're going to go ahead and throw, I would assume, Grass Knot here. Oh, it's a Moonblast, so they might have Future Sight. 
Okay, so bringing in the Steelix, and they're gonna be swapping into that Star Raptor here. A little slow, could have went for that Psychic Fangs a lot sooner. Do not know what I was waiting for. Really dumb on my end. Going for a close combat as expected here. Gonna go for the Psychic Fangs. They have another one. That's why they wanted to shield up, of course. And we're gonna let this one go. Or shield it up. Okay, never mind. I don't even remember my own battle. All right, so yeah, good game. Good game with that Star Raptor. Next battle, what are we gonna see here? Very hard to play with that thing. All right, bad lead. Oh, repositioning myself. Oof. Ooh wee. Oh my goodness. Uh, I need to get myself a nice chair, folks. I really do. Hit that like button if you want to support me and get a new chair. All right, so what's going on here now? We've got Steelix up against Cabalion. Well, this doesn't look good. Well, this is not good at all, okay? Not really. So when it comes down to the Galarian Zapdos, it's not gonna be weak to rock because of the fighting type. It's flying as well as fighting, so we can let Stone Edge go, depending upon how much health we do have and not be worried about getting one-shotted or something like that. So that's why we're gonna go ahead and bring in the Zapdos now. We can let this first one go for sure. I do think that they, eh, never mind, they swap. Okay, so we're gonna keep on going here, going for the Brave Bird up against that Tapu Fin here. Really need them to let that go. Thank God they... Well, ah, they have no more shields. I'm stupid. Okay. I'm a little out of it right now. I'm still... I still need to do my other battles. And I still need to go get some snacks at the store. Watch a movie with my son later. And, uh... Yeah, it's been one hell of a day. Anyways, what do we got going on? Dazzling Gleaming the hell out of them. Let's go for it. All right. Dazzling Gleam, you're out of here. And that Giratina does not want a piece of anything. And they're bouncing. Next battle... <laughs> What do we got here? Swampert. Okay, we'll take this because we don't have to worry about an earthquake as we're going to be flying. And yeah, we can let that first Hydro Cannon go. But they're going to be retreating with energy. Bringing in a Giratina. We go for a Brave Bird and swap into our Steelix here. As Steelix doesn't really want to go up against Swampert, right? And we're going to be able to come out of this with a lot of energy. And I think we just spam them with Psychic Fangs in case they tried to shield up. Which is not a big deal. If they, if they let it go, we went Earthquake, whatever. Psychic Fangs is what we're going to do. So they bring it in and immediately go for a Hydro Cannon. We survive it. We're going to start to spam these uh, Psychic Fangs here. And I was looks like I was trying to maybe go for Earthquake, but they're about to get to another Hydro Cannon. If not already at it, they're just building up a little bit more. I don't remember. I wasn't counting and paying attention to their energy. And they're retreating up. Yep, they're retreating with energy, bringing in a Sylveon that does not want to go up against Steelix right as I was about to faint to snipe me. Very nice. That's what I would do too. Bringing in the Ninetales here, and we have to be very careful here because we do have the fighter in the back letting that first one go. I would assume they're going to want to shield this one up. There it is. Now we need to get to one more. Beautiful. And this is going to just about be enough to take them out. Well, that's enough to take them out. Immediately swap into the Zapdos. And we're taking them in with two shields. Oh, damn. Damn. Let's go. Next battle. Met with a Regirock. All right. Like we were discussing, we can let the Stone Edge go. The first one, because we're not going to be pure flying. Or at least the fighting is going to neutralize it. So doing a lot, bringing us into the yellow here. Retreating with energy, and we're going to go for Stone Edge. What did they throw into the fight here? It's going to be a Skarmory. Okay, we're going to go ahead and bring in Steelix. Now, we could have went with the Alolan Ninetales, but we're going to go ahead and bring in this big boy here as we do have a bigger resistance. Well, not Ninetales doesn't even have a resistance. It's just doing a decent amount of damage with its, with its uh, ice typing, right? But Steelix is going to be able to run all over it, come out of this with energy. It's just more of a comfortable matchup for me to just absorb all of the damage here, right? So at this point, I do believe we're going to try to farm them down. We did debuff them by two stages with the Psychic Fangs, and we do fantastic. Low on our health, but still looking pretty good as far as the uh, energy is concerned here. Going straight for the Earthquake up against that Regirock, and they've got a Verizion in the back, in which I'm going to be able to even get to the Psychic Fangs. Steelix is a very great investment for the Ultra League, by the way. Bringing in Zapdos here, and you know what? We're going to go ahead and shield that up. Not the best kind of a timing that I had going on there, but it is what it is because I don't want to get farmed down with Steelix. And Ninetales is just waiting in the back. It's already over if, as soon as I bring the Ninetales in. All right, so we did a, had a little fun with the Zapdos. Bringing in the Ninetales. Stone Edge is still not going to be enough. Uh, we're going to let this go. It is a Leaf Blade here, and we'll go ahead and Powder Snow down, but they're going to back out, and we take that win, and we're looking good here and moving it on to our next opponent. What are we going to see here? What are, oh, just leading with Zapdos again. Still met with a Dragonite. Horrible lead, so I swap into the Steelix here, and they're going to stay here. 
I was figuring, okay, superpower, right? Yeah, yeah. They hit me with a dragon claw and retreat into a muck. Okay, damn it. So I go straight for the earthquake. This is not earthquake. Don't shield it up, but they do. Of course they do. So we're not looking too great here. But since we are using regular Steelix, we're going to be able to take these hits very nicely because, well, that's just what we are. The freaking biggest tank around here, right? So we'll take both of these dark pulses, no problem at all. And then we're actually able to get to another Earthquake here. Do they want to use both shields? That is the question. Please do. All right, or even let it go. That works as well. Bring in back the Dragonite. Beautiful. And we're going to go ahead and bring in Ninetales. They immediately swap. They've got a Mew back there. All right, things are getting a little bit interesting. I'm going to go ahead and go for the Ancient Power so we can take whatever they do throw at us here. All right, they shield it up. Sounds good. Shielding up an Ancient Power sounds great to me. And they go for a Dark Pulse. Not very effective to our fighting type Zapdos. And we're going to let this one go as well. Another Dark Pulse. And we are almost getting to the Brave Bird. That's so bad that we didn't even get off the damn Ancient Power. Could have used that extra damage here. Going for the Weather Ball. And we're going to have to let one of these go here, I think. Yeah, or shield us up. Okay, okay. Actually, all right. Never mind. Perfect. That works. Nine Tails taking the win for us like usual. Let's go. Next battle, what are we going to see? What are we going to see? Another Aurorus. We're going to kick this thing right in the ass. Kick it in the ass. Okay. <laughs> we'll have to shield it up, unfortunately. So they're going to get a shield out of us. Bring it in Trevenant. Knowing that they're going to probably shield this up, I'd go for an Ancient Power. But this son of a gun, let it go. Are you kidding me? What are you, a bot? Please, get, get the hell out of here with that. Good call, crap. <laughs> Bringing in the Nine Tails like usual to have a little fun with this thing here. Going for the Weather Ball, taking them out. And we have two shields. Oh, they've got two shields. We've got one shield. Bringing in Verizion and eh, we can still pull this off. Yeah, this is still doable. Absolutely. Getting a shield from them and they're going to be farming us all the way down and we're not able to get to the next Weather Ball. Not great. Bringing in Zapdos here, hoping that they only have um, Leaf Blade and yeah, Sacred Sword here. It's still doing a lot of damage even though we resist it. Surviving the other one, barely getting to the Ancient Power just to do a little bit of damage or get a shield out of them, just like that. Swapping in the Steelix, super effective with the Psychic Fangs, super effective with the Sacred Sword and Stab and another one. This is going to be pretty close here, so we're going to have to shield this one up. We're just getting too low. Building up extra energy here. See what happens. Going for the Psychic Fangs. Enough to take out the Verizion and what is back here. Getting to the Psychic Fangs up against this Aurorus. Is this going to be enough to take them out? And it's not. We need one more Dragon Tail, folks. Can we pull this off here? Yeah, they go Weather Ball. Yeah, we swap into the Zapdos and we take them out with the counter after we lower their defense. Let's go. Next battle. Met with a Ninetales. Well, this is horrible. We're going to have to retreat. Charm or Powdered Snow. Bringing in our own nine tails and they bring in drapion gonna build up to the dazzling gleam and go for the weather ball trying to get a shield out of them beautiful that's not even a shadow and we get a shield too great glad now dazzling gleam is going to do a lot if we can actually land that here so they hit me with an aqua tail i'll let this one go it's another aqua tail no problem hitting the dazzling gleam don't think they're going to double shield this thing up and they let it go and it takes them out damn shadow nine tails is a beast bringing back their nine tails and it does have charm so i do not have time to get to the dazzling gleam myself we go for the weather ball and they still shield it up are you kidding me let's go bring it in steelix they immediately swap they have a giratina so i'm thinking to myself you know i can't go up against that charm user with my zapdos so i'm just gonna have to bring in the zapdos to go up against giratina right now they hit me with shadow force let's go we survive it zapdos is over here taunting it Hitting the Brave Bird, doing a ton of damage, bringing in the Steelix, and this is a wrap, folks. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for you, turn notifications on, help a brother out, and please hit the like button, and I'll catch you all next time. Take care.
Hey! So you're finally here! <laughs> Fantastic!